A dramatic fire rescue. A Weymouth firefighter removes his own mask to save a mother and a child from this burning building. Tonight, both are just fine, but they can no, lo no longer live in that home. As Beth Romano shows us tonight, the department calls this firefighter a hero. When it comes to rescuing somebody, you do whatever it takes until, you know, you can't physically go anymore. And as heavy fire and smoke engulfed this Weymouth apartment building, firefighter Gary Walsh was on the first arriving companies, making sure everyone inside had made it out. We heard a woman yelling, help me, help me, and we couldn't see a hand in front of our face. It pitch black smoke. When firefighters arrived, they had reports of people trapped in the basement but couldn't find anyone. So when they heard these cries for help, they had no idea where they were coming from. Just trying to get a location of where she is, I couldn't tell if it was coming below, above. Walsh says instinct kicked in to head up. He was already masked up. And that's when he made contact at the top of the third floor stairs. I couldn't see her at first. I felt her arm or her shoulder, and I pulled her close to me. And I, I noticed that she had a baby on her shoulder. I pulled my mask off, and I, and I stuck it in their face. He knew his mask would be their lifeline providing needed oxygen as he pulled the mother and her young son from the burning building. I couldn't breathe at all. I couldn't see. I can only imagine how hot it was for that, that baby and, and the mother. My goal was to just to get them out of the building as fast as possible. Walsh says it was yeah, one of the yeah. closest yeah. rescue calls of his yeah. career. Amazed the two were still conscious when he got to them. To be the person that somebody calls and says, I need help, and you're the person that comes and helps them, is uh, pretty rewarding. And now he's credited with making a good call. In Weymouth, Beth Germano, WBZ News.